Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Cognito. So today we are going to learn about how to update the attributes with the help of Cognito and the React. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that in my user pool. So this I'm using that one. Okay, so here the current number is 88 this one. Okay. And here you can also see the same one, right? So how we are going to update this phone number? First, I'm going to add this, the current phone number. So let me add this current phone number first. Okay, so current phone number and new phone number. Okay, this is my updated. So let's update this one. You can see attribute updated successfully. Okay, so let's try to reload this one and check the phone number is available or like this or not. And here you can see that the phone number is changed. Previous phone number is 8688867 right now. You can see that the updated phone number is there. Okay, so this is how we are able to update any of the attribute you want to update with the help of React and the Cognito. Let's dive into the code level. So here we have the full fledged code of the update user attributes. So you have to follow this one. So here we are using the Cognito user attributes. Okay, by default current phone number and the new phone number state is empty. Okay, this is the pool data. Okay, and here we have the user pool get current user. So because we need the current user data so that you can update the phone number or any of the, the attributes, right? So is authenticated, we have a function, this dot current user not equal equal to null, we are checking. Okay, this dot authenticate, if it is not null, right? So we will check the current session. Okay, if there is a session and it is valid, then we will try to update the session. Okay, you can see that current phone number is not equal to new, new phone number, then phone number we are getting in and then push into the phone attribute. Okay. If the attribute list is greater than this one, then we have to update the parameter is attribute list. That is name is phone number and the value should be the new phone number. Okay. Then it will give you the message that attribute update successfully. Otherwise it will show you the error that no attributes to update. Okay. And last it will show you the error that user is not authenticated. Okay. And the last one that we have the UI part. So this is basically the current phone number. Then we have the new phone number, then we have the handle attributes so where we are updating the attribute part. Okay, so this is the full fledged code of that one. This is the main one. Okay, attribute list dot push at phone attribute. Then this is update attribute list dot current user, update attribute, attribute list. Then you have to handle the error or success. Okay. So this is how we are able to update the user attributes or the phone number with the help of the React and the Cognito. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.